Hey, what's up, everybody? Spybrog here, and today I'm here to give you the H Hour Weekly Community Update number 26. This week, the dark cloud has risen above the H Hour community. That's basically the theme of this video, so prepare to be a little bit sad, but no worries. We still have uh, we still have hope. We're we're an optimistic bunch, you know. And you're gonna you're probably thinking, oh my god, what are you what are you talking about, Spab? You're scaring me. I'll tell you right now. So, H hour has been temporarily put on hold in terms of development. So, I'm gonna read into the quick look because it's all in the quick look, and it's probably like. At this point in time, I think it's like 13 pages long of comments. So if you actually want to go to the website and check that out, you can see what everybody's saying. So, continuing on, I'm just going to read what Tom posted so you guys have an idea, you know, paint a picture in your head what's happening. So, here we go. So, Tom says, as most of you know, we've been trying to put out updates to H Hour every week since we launched an early access back in May. We were successful doing that for a good while, then it slowed down to every other week a few months ago, because the tasks the devs were focused on were larger and could not be completed in that time frame. We have now reached a point in development where the biggest need is to bring in funding so we can hire the right specialists who can take on the major workloads that are a priority for the H-Hour community. We have heard you loud and clear that you expect AAA style animations, in-game voice, sounds, UI, slash, UX, and game improvements to gameplay, and optimization, lighting, stats, and clan systems. We have decided to temporarily put the development of H-Hour on hold, while we instead focus our attention on investor presentations and meetings so we could bring the best in the industry in to get this critical work done. For those that have been around the project since 2014, you will remember we used this same process successfully when funding was needed to get H-Hour from the original Kickstarter proof of concept to a published early access game on Steam. That was a rough time for the studio, its core contractors and the community as the game was only a concept, but we succeeded. This time we have an early access title for the community to play and to show investors so I have no doubt we'll get through this phase too. I want you all to know that I'm not excited about our current situation and was hopeful to have the funding in place before now, but it takes time to go through the investor process. We do have leads and have been working them to mature the relationship. I'm not quitting on this project or the community, and I am hoping you all feel the same as well. My goal is to have our core contractors and these much needed specialists hard at work on H hour as early as possible. What can you the community do during this phase? Be patient, continue to play the game, and continue to make maps or stream the game so others become more aware, more aware of what H hour's current state is today. You could also send pu possible publishers or investors you think would be worth reaching out to. Continue tagging SOFs on tweets, going to those publishers or investors. The power of social media can't be understated. Do you see a full release of H Hour on Steam by May? Currently, we do not think that is possible. Once the proper funding is received, we'll put out a new timeline for full release. And we've come a long way with this project, and you should all be very proud of your contribution in making that happen. I'll continue to push hard on my end, and I hope you all will too. More next Monday. So, again, that paints a pretty uh, cloudy picture, right? <laughs> in our minds in the H hour community. You know, a lot, a lot of us are like, wow, that's that's pretty rough. Like, we've been getting a lot of decent content the last couple weeks, and then now it's just on hold. Like, it's, it's super random, and we weren't expecting that. Um, again, obviously the mood of the community is like oh here we go this is like a, I guess it's do or die technically so me I'm a pretty optimistic guy I'm also pretty realistic though you know but I'm also not that emotional when it comes to stuff like this like oh no the sky's falling down I'm not that type of person there's like in situations like this what we could do is just we just gotta wait and for me that's fine because I've been waiting this whole time <laughs> Like, I don't work for them. I don't get paid or anything. So, like, and nothing's really happening technically. You know what I mean? The only thing that could happen is that the game could stop being in development. Or we could get investors, you know, um, and then we could get everything we ever wanted. 
and we'll probably get it quicker and probably get a better quality and you know instead of the snail pace that we were kind of used to so we'll, we'll see man we'll see i mean me uh, again you know i'm i'm realistic like yeah, this is this is a pretty pretty rough you know pretty rough situation because it's like yeah we got to get funding again and then um you know me i i like the game and stuff but a lot of other stuff previous that it's it's like it's working against the game i guess like the steam reviews because they put it they put the game out a little bit too early they should have waited another month or two before putting it out um things like that uh community stuff from from before i could go like i could go days on um and yeah it's just it's just a lot of little stuff that that's kind of against them and um i just hope that yeah they'll be fine you know what i mean i mean i'm optimistic because like that's just how i am then if they could get the proof of concept right to make it work again that was like very polished but it was also like um apparently it didn't play good i don't know i i'm, I'm not even gonna comment on that because i don't even know how, how it was but apparently it played good so uh yeah so what what are we gonna do what is the community gonna do that's that's what every, everybody's kind of scared that uh nobody's gonna play anymore but it's, it's already a couple hardcore dudes that are playing waiting to the to the end anyway so the player base will not change in my in my opinion you probably won't get a lot of people like new people playing because we, we have been getting some new people um as of late um if you know my previous videos we'll be getting like double lobbies so that's good uh so I'm, I'm happy to see that but right now that's gonna have to be on hold for a bit you know obviously development being temporarily on hold isn't the greatest of news you know it's definitely not good news but um the good news in my opinion is that they're 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 focusing on the funding and uh you know i think it's hard for people to see the bigger picture um if we just continued at the same pace that we were going where it was just like a, one update every two weeks and then it was just like little little things you know as much as i enjoyed it like it it, it was gonna get there eventually but it, it was just gonna be so long you know so i was patient with it but continuing on uh yeah we could probably get all these animations everything we want as long as we you know we get it but if worse came to worse actually no nah, not not even worse came to worse what they should do as a priority for the community is just get that steam workshop coming out like asap because that's the only thing we want steam workshop let us play the maps go do your funding or whatever however that is and just let us play whatever we want that's all we want we just want steam workshop and then whatever happens happens at that point you know what i mean like i would love for the for the studio to just let me play my desert glory or play one of the maps that like all these dudes in the community made i know there's like three playable maps or something like that probably more at this point but even if they were like not even finished I'd still play them just because it gives us something else to do. You know what I mean? Just give us a long. They should just put implement the maps in the game, and uh, just give us a rotation for the new maps. Like I'll be happy with that. I, I could care less. You know what I'm saying? But uh, continuing on, I know, I know a lot of people are like, "Oh man, this is this is rough." But there's there has been some contributions from the community. I know this guy Camouflage who's in our discord channel he plays the game he's actually like pretty smart dude he actually made a jump animation and i don't know how long it took him but he says it shouldn't be too hard to implement in the game you just gotta link the code or something like that I don't know. i'm you know me i'm not technical at all but he says it's possible so i'm just gonna listen to, to my mans over there um yeah so we could do that that's one thing that's pretty pretty legit um it looks really nice actually um, I think there's like one or two tweaks. I think I saw Swayze say something about like, can you make it so the right leg jumps first or something like that. Um, but yeah, we have that. Uh, the Steam Workshop, I wish that gets released. Um, also, like, they're trying to find alternatives to 
to make us play because as as you know there's it's like kind of buggy right now in the steam workshop like something like people crash or like their files get deleted or something something i forgot what it was but yeah uh it's good it's good to see that he's not quitting tom i mean you're all in now <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do but yeah if like say things say worst comes to worst um i think some good ideas is like just make the game free for a week or something or make it like three dollars you know something like that because if you make the game super cheap which they kind of should have done from the beginning in my opinion but I, I don't know the logistics of that so i can't really you know i can't really be like yeah you should have made it like five dollars but like that's i guess from a business standpoint you're not making a lot of money but um yeah continuing on if like things do get kind of bad that could be a thing make it for, make it a free game for a while or like make it super cheap where it's like 90 percent off like those games on steam and then like if, if you're not really expecting any funding i mean any any like income from like people buying the game it's not it's not a bad idea i mean the only downfall i could see is that mad people buy the game because maybe they enjoy it and then uh then like you get funding and then you make everything and then not a lot of people buy it because a lot of people already bought the game that's i don't know that's that's how i see it it's probably a dumb way to think but <laughs> whatever um another thing that people were talking about are like making it open source code i don't know what that means i think that's like everybody can could fix the game on their own uh i'm not sure how that works but it sounds like from what, how people were talking about it is uh open source is a way that just anybody could kind of fix the game i don't know how that works like oh, i'm sick <laughs> i got the sniffles but yeah so continuing on yeah that's pretty much all the ideas i got i mean um it's gonna be hard to keep the youtube channel alive for h hour specifically i mean i do do street fighter 5 stuff and um you probably see that in the in the like sub videos but yeah um i i have some other plans you know obviously i'm not gonna get to have news so probably what you'll see is like uh, i'm gonna continue doing the update until like just just straight news until they give me a reason not to you know what i mean Otherwise, I'll probably just upload more gameplay and just be like more logistical stuff on like how we like how the game plays. Um, I'll probably do like voiceover commentary, things like that, or maybe like a montage. That'd be cool. I always wanted to make a montage, but I was kind of waiting until the game was a little bit more polished. But yeah, guys, um, I say be optimistic. You know, you got nothing to lose. Just to, just thinking hmm, we'll be OK. But um, I know a lot of people want to see the game's demise for whatever reason. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So that's fine, I guess, too. Um, but at the end of the day, man, I'm going to be alive, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm just happy to be like in this journey for the most part. Like, If, if worse comes to worse and then the studio shuts down, you know, as... At least I can say I played something close to SOCOM that I, I, I probably wouldn't have imagined. You know what I mean? I know you guys are probably like, wow, Spad, but like, the game's not that good or it's not even finished. It still needs work. How can you say it's the closest thing to SOCOM? What I mean closest thing to SOCOM is I got to play a third-person shooter. I got to, you know, play some demo, some breach. I got to strafe in my gunfight something that's unheard of now and play th and just be rewarded for my intelligence and also i met some really cool dudes that i could i'll never regret a day in my life and just fucking playing for hours you know what i mean so i mean that's one thing about the socom community those dudes are the freaking best you know, depending who you talk to but <laughs> those dudes are freaking awesome you know Oh, you know what would be cool if they what they did? If somehow they closed up shop, they should uh they should get like a like a hall of fame or something like that and put it in a random map 
and just put like our freaking all the hardcore players like people with like 500 plus hours just put their names on the wall they'll be they'll be pretty badass you know i wouldn't mind having spab rock on the wall for eternity make me feel good about myself but yeah guys that's pretty much it sorry for the hoarse voice of mine i was sick this whole weekend i went out and uh yeah girl got me sick but it's all good man thanks a lot guys for watching remember to follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash spab underscore rock um i'll probably stream each hour but i have like midterms and stuff so i don't i don't know um until like next week uh i, I want to kind of come up with a stream like a stream schedule for it even if it's for like one or two hours uh, what else? I also want to thank everybody for watching, obviously. And you can follow my Twitter, twitter.com slash MrSpab, M-R-S-P-A-B. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Next week, I'll be back. We'll see if we got some good news. Take care.